Standings right now heading into the free dance. Lang and Chernyshev in the lead looking for the gold medal. Ahead of two Canadian teams and then Silverstein and Pekarik. Silverstein and Justin Pekarik. And it's the young Americans who will get things underway. Jamie Silverstein, Justin Pekarik in only their first season on the senior level. They swept just about everything last year as junior skaters. Music from selections to the soundtrack, Great Expectations. Both Jamie and Justin have tremendous partnering skills in the upper body holds. Great balance. All of these passes really take quite a lot of time to develop and make them to make them secure. Opening lift in the free dance, there are five to seven lifts that are allowed. Two footwork sequences, one circular, one straight line. This here is their circular footwork pattern. Free dance, as always, four minutes long, worth 50% of the overall score. Skaters have already competed in the compulsories and the original dance. Susie, do you think it's fair that the international judges view their, their youth and their appearance in a negative way? I think that they are young, and the teams that they're up against have a little more power, a little bit more meat on their bones. So it, when they get on the ice, they do look a little bit lighter and softer than some of the other teams. But really, the ability that they have and the difficulty that they're capable of uh, should overcome that. Watch this couple's feet. It's very, they're very precise in their placement. One of their coaches, Liz Coates, is a great technician and really will break everything down to make everything work. Here, a beautiful lift with a change of direction, one of the required lifts. Jamie is from Pittsburgh, Justin from Southfield, Michigan, but they train in the Detroit area with Liz Coates and Igor Spielbahn. Both of them are very busy. Here the rotation lift has to turn three to five rotations, counterclockwise direction, and now clockwise direction. Well, this team is so well trained. They're hard working. They bring so much energy to this sport. It's really great to watch. Well, as senior skaters this season, we saw them finish fourth at the Nations Cup competition, but they're trying to stand on the podium for the first time in an international event here in Japan. 
entering into their final lifts in the program. They do a great job of transitioning here into their final lift. It's a rotational lift. She goes into a split position showing great flexibility. She's only holding on with no hands. He's holding on with one hand. Very strong for Justin. And then they segue right into another dance lift, combining all of their elements instead of separating them. Very nice choreography. Five, four, five, three, five, Two sets six, of marks, of course. Five, the first three, for technical five, merit, four, the second for presentation. Five, two, and here five, are the scores. Three, five, three, There's some nice marks five, here. One. Nice 5.6. Really, technically, it was very, very deserving of that mark. Really wanting to medal here in Japan as you look at their coaches on the right side of your screen. 5.2 to 5.7, the presentation marks. It's quite a range there. They held back a little bit, and, and probably they felt the pressure of trying to move up a little bit. And we'll be back with more coverage of the Four Continents Figure Skating Championships in a moment.